Greetings, critters. It's Fox here, and welcome to My Girl of Thoughts, aka my channel where we talk about everything spooky. And today will be a spooky book review of Koji Suzuki's Ring. So settle into your burrows because things are about to get. So, a little bit about the plot of Koji Suzuki, The Ring, book one of his trilogy. After four teens abruptly and simultaneously die, one of them being his niece, a reporter decides to investigate the deaths, which leads to the discovery of a mysterious VHS tape that tells you you will die in seven days after watching it. So when the reporter gets this call about his seven days to live, it becomes a race against his impending death. So my thoughts on Ring by Koji Suzuki. Uh, it is not going to be a popular opinion. Um, however, this was my first Japanese horror that I read, and I've read it three times so far and each time I was just hoping to like it more. It is very complex and interesting especially in the way that it's written. It is beautifully written. Um, however, it didn't scare me because there was a lack of the ticking clock, the impending death, the race against it. It just didn't seem visceral in this read. Um, I also found the main character, the reporter, whose name I'm choosing not to butcher, uh, to be a bit of a boring character. I found he just lacked luster. And then his supporting character, his best friend, also a sexist and sexual assaulter, um, I found to be really just deterring from me from enjoying the story. I hated this character with such passion. It took a lot away from my reading experience because he was an absolute pig. And yeah, I'll just leave it at a lot of the characters. In fact, all of them, in my opinion, in this book were unlikable. And that really bums me out because I love a good character development. I did like the multiple settings, you know, going from the hustle and bustle of the city to the desolate and rural Japan communities that are so tight-knitted and so far from the city life that their way of life is very, very different. So I found that very interesting. The mystery of the ghost, Sadako, I believe that's how it's pronounced. Um, that was my favorite part. It had its dull moments, but the parts of them, him and his friend trying to unravel the mystery around this tape, where it came from, who created it, and so forth, was the best part of the book. It is a tragic horror story. A, I must issue a trigger warning for sexism, sexual assault, abuse, and a many more triggers. This is not an easy read if you are triggered by such subjects. Um, however, the loophole in this book, the twist, if you will, was good. I liked it. I knew it was coming because unfortunately I watched the movie when it came out when I was nearly 12. However, I liked it. It was a good conclusion for the story. I liked the ending. It was definitely something that bumped up my rating for this read. I feel really bad that I don't really enjoy Ring by Koji Suzuki because it has done a lot for Japanese horror being introduced to the American and Canadianized horror genre. It is definitely different, but I myself, I just couldn't get into reading this because the characters 
and the super slow pace and though the ending was good and the mystery was good I just wasn't satisfied and I think part of that is because I watched the movie first um, again issuing a trigger warning for this for abuse sexual abuse sexism all of it's in there throughout the book it is discussed in full without too descriptive of passages if you get my meaning so if that triggers you again written by koji suzuki may not be for you i myself am reading it three tales out of five i know what it did for horror i appreciate that and i appreciate the writing style I appreciate the premise and the fact that it made a whole movie franchise. Love that. It just, the triggers and the characters ruined it for me. So again, three, three tales out of five for me. It just missed the mark. But I'm not deterred from Japanese horror fiction at all. I will definitely give other authors a try. Well, Critters, that's all from this set of rights. I love and I appreciate you all so, so, so much. Thank you for watching. It means the whole wide and wild wilderness to me. It really does critters. And until next time, stay cozy and stay spooky. Bye.